Chicago town The cops just get the wrong around Wham bam Kefal, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry These bad guys got no alibi Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse No baloney, this guy's no phony On ass to the bone Step on the gas mask Trap that bad guy Walks these streets at night, the sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. Reach the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side, so kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The It's Elliot Mouse in old cheese cargo. Merry Cheese Miss from Cheese Cargo, where the city is wearing its brightest and most festive colors in honor of a very special visitor, Santa Mouse. Beneath the snow and bright lights, the good citizens of Cheese Cargo hurried through the crowded streets doing their last minute shopping. The whole city buzzed with excitement. Hello, Merry Cheese Miss! <laughs> no one was forgotten, and even the poor and needy had good reason to celebrate as the season of goodwill warmed the citizens' hearts. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the With the way. help of Elliot Mouse and his untouchables, Deborah had organized a dinner for them at the Cheese Paris Club. It seemed as though everyone in the city was doing their bit to help those less fortunate than themselves. In fact, at this moment, the richest people in Cheese Cargo were meeting at the city hall for a charity dinner that would raise money to buy toys for all the poor children of the city. Mayor Big Bit Thompson was there, as well as three reporters from the Animal Examiner, who'd been asked by the mayor to witness the amount of money raised, and the only thing they had in common was their friendly relationship with Al Catone. It's me, Tino Barati, working undercover, trying to find out what they're up to. So none of them is the real Santa Mouse, is that what you're saying, I've Scalise? told you a hundred times, huh? Aunt Selby, that waiter's dressed up as Santa Mouse. Kind of a coincidence they all got white beards, though, huh? Those beards are false, too, stupid. They've gone, senor. We can start now. Sure, man. Count it, nitty. Sure, senor Caton, that's gotta be a small fortune in here. I hope so, Nitty. Those untouchables have seriously curtailed my revenue. Hi, Santa! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. uh -oh. sure. Hey, that's Tino Barati, a reporter from the huh? Cheese Cargo Tribune. He's a oh. friend of the Untouchables. I bet oh. he was spying on us. Huh? Oh, was hey. Grab him! Show that bum out with a kick in the pants. Whoa! Uh -oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. You'll need your sleigh to get huh? home on Santa Mouse. Santa, but he was wearing a full spear. There's something I gotta tell you, lame brain. Ooh, I better warn the Untouchables right away. Now, you can tell us how much money we've raised here, Nitty. Over a million cheese dollars, Senior Catone. Wow. wow! Well, it's a good job we found out about that reporter before we split the loot. Let's not waste any more time. This is for me, that's for you. And this is for you guys. But don't forget, we only raised a hundred thousand cheese dollars. Right, right Mr. Catone. Right, man, Big Bit. All the toys ready for tomorrow? Oh, yes, they are. What's more, they didn't cost me a red cent. Tomorrow morning, those children will wake up to the best collection of defective toys in all of Cheese Cargo with a total value of about 300. Uh -huh. Well, it ain't that bad. A thousand cheese dollars is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, isn't it? It ain't much to pay for our silence when he's just scammed over a million. Not much, but better than nothing. Come on, it's not bad, but what are you talking about? Catone should pay us a lot more. He should, but don't hold your breath. I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? You heard him. The Untouchables have got him with us back to the wall. If we threatened to tell the truth, he'd give us anything we wanted. All we do is ask. Hey, wait a minute. You want us to threaten Catone? Yeah, that huh? could be pretty dangerous. Ha! You worry too much. I got it figured. Tino Barati's disguise has given me an idea how to block Mel Catone without him finding out it's us. We send him a present from Santa Mouse. Merry Cheesemas, Deborah. You know something, this is the best Christmas I've ever had, Elliot. Yeah, it's a great party. I didn't mean that, dummy. I meant this is our first Christmas together. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant, really, yeah. A Merry Cheesemas to everybody. Now, please, eat all that you can. And they're ready.
Hey! <laughs> Slow down, Gordon. Yeah, met all the other guests, not you. I know that, Wilson, yeah. I'm just trying to encourage him. God bless you, it's wonderful. Hello, Hi. Tino. How'd it go at City Hall? Not good, Jack. Not good at all. I think Catone and the mayor are planning to keep all the money they raised for all those children. Huh? Weasels. But where'll they get the toys from, Tino? Huh? If they're anything like last year's, they won't exactly need a fortune for it. Yeah, them. that's right. They were terrible. The whole lot of them were factory rejects. That's incredible. Did you find anything else out? They caught me and threw me out, but I made a list of everyone who made a donation. But no one will want to say how much they gave. Well, I'll get down to the newspaper office and see if I can talk to any of them from there. Well, it's got to be worth a try, Tino, so we'll see you after dinner, right? Sure. Everyone has started to eat, Gordon. You don't have to keep setting an example. Huh? What do you mean everyone started eating? You haven't started yet, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Deborah. What's wrong? I just keep seeing those poor kids' faces when they open those lousy presents tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on. You can't worry about everything. You organize this dinner. Anyway, for them to have really good toys, Santa Mouse himself would have to bring them. Good. We've arrived. How are we gonna deliver the package to Catone? We can't risk him recognizing us. Don't worry, huh? we'll wait till someone comes along and then give it to them to hand to the bellboy. Look, you guys, here comes someone now. Hmm, I seem to be lost. Hey, wait up, mister! Who are you calling me, son? That's right. I've got a favor to ask you. I'll give you ten cheese bucks if you deliver this package to the hotel there. Oh, I can't, young man. I've got a lot of work to do today. Sorry. All right, I'll give you twenty cheese dollars. How about that? You don't have to give me anything, son. If it's that important, of course I'll deliver it for you. One more package won't make any difference. And after all, it is Christmas, you know. <laughs> He's a strange one. Well, come on, let's get out of here. I don't want to be around when Katom finds out what's in that pack. Don't worry, he probably won't open it till tomorrow morning. Hey, Anselmi! Huh? Anselmi, what are you doing out here? Shh, I just hung up my cheese stocking and I'm waiting to see Santa Mouse arrive. <laughs> you ding -a -ling. Hey, be quiet. If he knows we're here, he won't show up and I've never seen him. Oh, Santa's here, look! What the? What do you mean? Santa Mouse! It's Santa huh? Mouse! You came, Santa Mouse! I knew you would! <laughs> oh, What's up, guys? It's nothing, boss. Just that pea brain on Selmy mistaking the hotel bellboy for Santa Mouse. Ah! <laughs> Senior Catone, there's a Christmas present here for ya. A Christmas present for me? Hey, I wonder who brought it? A guy dressed up as Santa Mouse. He brought it. <sighs> Let's see what this is. If you don't want to go to prison, Catone, you give me half the money you collected for the poor children tomorrow at 12 at the door of the Cheese Burry Club. Signed Santa Mouse here. Yeah. Someone's found out about the charity scam. Yeah, but who? The only ones there were the mayor and the three journalists from the examiner. You're forgetting one other person, Nitty. Who is it visits all the homes in Chicago at Christmas? Santa Mouse Cheesepus, of course. It was Tino Barati. And so, Miss Calizzi, find that no good scribbler and bring him to me. Sure, sure thing, thing, boss. Hmm. We'll see how tough Tino Barati is when he ain't wearing his Santa Mouse suit. <laughs> Hello, is that Madame Rockefeller? Good evening, ma'am. I'm calling from the Chicago Tribune. From a newspaper? Don't you know it's Christmas I, I, Eve? I know it's late, ma'am, but I'm sorry, You but... should be ashamed of huh? yourself. I'm reporting you oh, to no, the police. Oh, no, please excuse me, ma'am. It's something really important. I'm, uh... Uh... Here, have a drink and relax, Tino. You're the only one working. I better get some fresh air. I haven't managed to get anyone to tell me anything at all. Well, don't you think that's to be expected? This is a day for spending with your loved ones, hmm? I guess you're right. Sure is snowing hard. Beats me why people want to drive in this weather. It ain't people, it's Anselmi and Scalisi! Pierre, put me through to Elliot, quick! 
Of course, Tino Baratti for you, Monsieur Elliot. Oh. Hi, Tino. What is it? What's up? I got a couple of visitors. Anselmi and Scalisi have shown up at the office. Okay, take it easy. We're on our way. Tino needs our help, fellas. Come on. Well, Gordon could do with the exercise. Ah, does that mean the party's over? Hey, Tino, where are you going? I forgot to wish my mom a Merry Cheesemus. Music! Is that why you're dancing like a clown, <laughs> you moron? I'm doing that because I'm freezing. I gotta hide somewhere where I won't put my colleagues in danger. Oh. Well, well, just look at this, Anselmi. Look who's come down to greet us. Hey! What are you guys looking for? This is private property, you know. Oh, we just wanted to read tomorrow's horoscope. <laughs> Sorry, we've only got today's. <laughs> oh. Come on, Anselmi. We can't let him escape. <sighs> I hope the Untouchables get here soon. It's a dead end. There's no way out. Ah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> now you're mine, kid. Huh? Oh, oh. Aha. You know you really shouldn't press me and sell me. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's a little cheese miss present for you. Uh, oh no, no. <laughs> one down and one to go. Too bad I'm the other one though, right, Parati? Put him up. All right, move it, you dirty little blackmailer. Huh? We're almost there. Hey, look! Isn't that Anselmi and Scalisi? Yeah, and they got Tino with them. Hurry up, Jack. We gotta cut him off. <clears throat> Cheese wine! The engine's too cold. Won't start. Better hurry up, Scalisi. Someone's coming. I recognize that huh? car. The Untouchables. Time we were someplace else. Hey! They're getting away! No, oh, yeah, they're not, Gordon. Hold on tight! They're still following! I gotta lose them any way I can! Now things should start to get really interesting. What? Uh, Are you crazy? We'll never make it, Jack! Uh, the ground's covered in ice! Don't worry, Wilson. The 326 is equipped for winter conditions. Wow! Hey, this is fantastic! We've got it now! And they're catching us up! From this distance, Bull could easily puncture one of their tires. How about it, Elliot? Get ready, Bull. Here we go! No, Gordon. They got huh? Tino in the car with them, and if we puncture one of their tires, it could be dangerous. Oh, what can I do, Bull? Elliot's the boss. Oh, well, what are you waiting for, Anselmi? Shoot at the tires! Go ahead! Tires, not eyes, you lame brain! What are you doing? <laughs> Come on! You are right, Tino! I'm fine, but to be honest, guys, I think the Santa Mouse disguise suited me better. <laughs> okay, Bull, I guess you get to go after all. Those guys are all yours this time. Yeah. Go get them! <laughs> You got any idea why those goons would want to kidnap you, Tino? Well, from what I heard them say, Catone is being blackmailed by someone, and when they saw me at the city hall, they must have thought I was the blackmailer. So he must have kept the money raised at that charity event, or he wouldn't suspect you or anyone else of blackmailing him. Hey, that's right, but we don't know who the real blackmail artist is. Well, who else was there with Catone when they caught you? 
Well, now, there was Mayor Big Bed and three reporters from the Animal Examiner. The mayor's too much of a coward to try anything on with Katona. Besides that, he'll have had his slice already. Which just leaves us the reporters. We just got one chance, guys. Get those reporters to talk before the toys are distributed. The three of them meet up for breakfast at a diner every day. I'm sure they'll be there tomorrow. That's great, and I've got a plan. We can learn everything we need to know. All right, but what are we going to do about these two ice cubes? They'll have plenty of time to thaw out in the prison cell. <laughs> That's them now. You see them? Yeah, you ready, Gordon? Huh? Yeah, like I told you, it's not that difficult, Elliot. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. Cheer up. In a few hours, we'll all be rich. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I can't see Katone giving up his money too easily. Man, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make the pickup. We just look for another Santa Mouse, like the one we got to do the work for us yesterday. And what do we do then? The place will be crawling with gangsters. Why do you think I arranged delivery at the Cheese Paris Club? With the untouchables around, no gangster will try anything on. Hey, there's a telephone call for you guys. Stop worrying. I got everything figured. I told you I would. Hello, who is there? Let uh, this be Ken. It's Rat Who? You wait, mister. Catone knows you're blackmailing him. Oh, you mean us, but blackmailing Senior Catone with what? Yeah, you guys. Don't try and deny it, cheesy breath. <laughs> <laughs> In five minutes, I want you to come out of that diner with a signed declaration as to the true amount raised and a confession admitting your involvement. <laughs> if you don't, I'm coming after you. You won't make it true the end of the week, see? Y yes, sir, I definitely got it, okay? <laughs> So, Gordon, was it those reporters who were blackmailing Catone? It sure was, and they fell for it, see? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> What's up? Anything wrong? Oh, no, but Mr. Catone's found out we're trying to blackmail him, that's all. He's done what? He, he's found out? Any news yet, Nitty? Not a thing, Senior Catone. Ain't heard from and tell me or Scalisi. What can those two idiots be up to? Because we should have heard something by now. It's nearly 12 and those lame brains still haven't delivered Tino Barati into my hands. Uh-huh. Time's running out. What are you going to do about it, Senior Catone? What else can I do? I'm going to have to pay the blackmailer. I can't afford to have the feds find out about this. They throw me into prison without a second thought. Here's the money. I want you to keep this appointment for me. Sure, you can rely on me, Senior Catone. But you better bring back both the money and Barati. No one blackmails Al Catone and gets away with it without paying with his life. Do you understand? This is the end of our career as blackmailers. Yeah, and as millionaires. It's too bad. Well, let's hope that's all that ends. Thanks, guys. Huh? Mm -hmm. What the? Well, now, you guys haven't written much, but I guess it's enough. Here, tell me what you think of this, Elliot. This'll do fine. And it means we won't have to eliminate them. Oh, oh no, we, we fell for the, the oldest trick, trick in the book. <laughs> book him. Go right ahead, my little ones. Today is Christmas Day, and you can open the presents that Santa Mouse has brought you. Go ahead, fellas. Don't miss out. Uh -huh. yeah! What's this garbage? Huh? Hey, what's this? These toys are completely useless. Huh? Aww. Oh. Oh. Too far this time, Mr. Man. Maybe. Hey, that's Jack's car. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Wait. It's them. You ought to hear this. It's a declaration signed by three reporters from the Animal Examiner, confirming that over one million cheese dollars has been raised this year. Oh, wow. 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 oh, they found us out. What are we gonna do now, senor? Now, according to your calculations, how much would all these toys have cost, Wilson? Even allowing for packaging, it's not more than a few hundred dollars. So where's the rest of the million bucks, Mr. Mayor? 
What are we gonna do? Looks like we're done for. Make something up, you idiot. We want the money! We want the money! We want the money! We want the money. Well, you see, it's like this, ladies and gentlemen. This year, we decided to give you the money so you could buy the children their own presents. Yeah, sure, that's what we did. Oh, oh, no, 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 Thanks, Deborah, but we wouldn't have been able to do anything if it hadn't been for Tino's great work in the first place. And the only thing that I regret is that despite everything, Katone has managed to escape jail again. A million cheese bucks lost! No, but if you give all the money back now, you won't have to pay that blackmailer anything. The blackmailer! I forgot about him! Uh, uh, I'll get him! Ain't nobody coming, and I'm tired of waiting for that blackmailer Barati! Oh dear, now let me see, where did I put my sleigh? Oh. Oh. Ah. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going, Grandpa? I'm a little bit absent-minded. Ah, Please so you finally me. got oh, here. Dear, oh dear, Well, traditionally, I only appear once a year on Cheesemus Eve, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's very <laughs> funny. Well, I'm not usually funny. I'm simply the one who gives out presents. Yeah, and I'm Easter Bunny. Well, you're a little early, you know. Thanks for everything, my friend. See you next year, perhaps. <laughs> huh? 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 Found you. At last. I'd better teach this poor sap a lesson. Nobody steals Al Catone's money and gets away with it. Yeah. Merry oh. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Huh? <laughs> As you can imagine, it was no easy thing for Rat Nitty to convince his boss that he had confused the real Santa Mouse with the blackmailer. But that year, Santa Mouse was certainly more generous than he ever had been, especially to the poor and underprivileged kids who were at last able to enjoy the best presents they'd ever had. And even though this terrific cheesemus was mostly down to Santa Mouse, and Cheese Cargo was enjoying one of its happiest Yuletides ever. We were all more than happy that we were able to help out Santa Mouse just a little. The circus comes to Cheese Cargo, giving Al Catone the chance to give him the lowdown on his own tax laws. Jumping from one kind of protection to another, who knows what trick the evil Catone will pull out of the hat next? Will it be a slap in the face of justice as Elliot's plans come crashing down? The connection between Catone and the protection racket is indisputable. Can Elliot stop clowning around in time to put an end to his reign of terror? Find out in the next episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables!